Good evening, friends. So for years, if you've flown out of or into our airport here in the Twin Cities, it's almost always been on Delta. Even though Northwest Airlines was absorbed into Delta over a decade ago, it still feels like Delta is Northwest to a lot of us. Our loved ones still work there. It's the hometown airline, so to speak. So when word came from Delta that it was changing its rewards program to basically be one for the rich and leave the rest of us behind, well, that made millions of you real mad for the last two weeks. Delta took for granted what kind of emotional reaction people would have because Look, again, you know, there are, there are people out there uh, and probably people who have already canceled their Delta credit cards who would not be affected at all by this. Um, but Delta's announcement said loud and clear to a, a clearly a large amount of people that we care about loyalty, but not your loyalty. Your loyalty doesn't matter to us. The loyalty that matters to us is the business consultant that spends $400,000 a year with us not you know the everyday traveler who really loves delta and will go out of their way and probably pay quite a bit more to fly delta than some other airlines um but you just don't spend enough for us to really think about um what your loyalty means to us anymore yeah well delta ceo has cut up amex cards on his face right now and that is likely the reason he is saying whoops we changed that rewards program too fast and we went too far so hold on we're going to make it better for all of you how he will and Delta make it better, he of course did not say. But here's the deal. If you all started not spending on your Delta Amex or worse, canceling those cards, that's bad news to Delta because in dollars and cents, Delta lives and dies by American Express, not by planes and tickets. So this year alone, Delta is, or at least was on track to earn almost $7 billion in revenue from American Express. That's more than Delta makes in a year. Any big, and in some cases, many small decisions that Delta makes are a result of what is good for its relationship with American Express because it is so, so important to the airline. And clearly its decision it made two weeks ago was not good for American Express. What Delta did clearly hurt the bottom line more than crowding too many of the bottoms at the sky clubs and the airports. So stay tuned on what Delta will give you back as a rewards member that has tried to hastily take away over the last couple of weeks.